Hello, everyone. Good morning. It is Saturday, April the 10th, 7 a.m. Thank you once again for joining me for our morning uh, devotion and prayer time. We are continuing in the words and footsteps of Jesus. Wrapping up today, John chapter 6. Um, we've seen many things in this chapter, and um, an interesting thing takes place in the closing minutes of, uh, of this chapter. Beginning at verse 60, the Bible says, Many of his disciples said, This is very hard to understand. How can anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his disciples were complaining, so he said to them, said to them, them, does this offend you? Then what will you think if you see the Son of Man ascend to heaven again? The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing, and the very words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But some of you do not believe me, for Jesus knew from the beginning which ones didn't believe, and he knew who would betray him. Then he said, that is why I said that people can't come to me unless the Father gives them to me. At this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. Then Jesus turned to the twelve and asked, are you also going to leave? Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe and we know you are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus said, I chose the twelve of you, but one is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, one of the twelve, who would later betray him. So Jesus is speaking here in reference to his um, teaching that he is the bread of life, that he um, gives spiritual life um, to those who would come to him. And if you recall, we are told that um, that no one comes to the Father unless the Spirit draws them. The, the Spirit draws us all to the knowledge of Jesus, um, to the knowledge of God. Romans chapter 1 uh, very clearly says that we are without excuse because simply looking at nature, there is evidence within us that, that God exists. And so Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I give spiritual life. Here is what I want us to take away from this today. Um, many people like Jesus. And what I mean by that is many people like the warm and fuzzy Jesus. But there is a, a, another part of Jesus, the, the part that speaks truth even when it is tough truth. And what, what Jesus is saying here is that just as many of those who initially followed him walked away, there will be those in our lives that we, we strive to, to lead them to Christ, that we, we strive to disciple them, that many of those will simply turn away. And Jesus is giving us a very... Uh, inconvenient truth here that that that's simply the way it is that some are never going to believe does that mean we stop praying for them no does that mean we stop trying to reach them no does that mean that we we stop living our lives to impact them absolutely not and jesus is telling us that that he is the bread of life but that not everyone who um experiences that will say yes to him. Now that can be, to be perfectly honest, that can be discouraging for us. Um, I don't know about you, but I, there, are, there are people in my life that I have been praying for for many, many years that they would come to the knowledge of who Jesus is and their need for him. So we have a choice here. I mean, really isn't life all about choices. Our, our choice as uh, followers of Jesus is that we can just say, well, what's the use? I've prayed for these people. I've talked to these people and they, 
they simply refuse to uh, come to Jesus. That's our one choice. The other choice is I'm not going to give up. I am going to keep praying. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep trusting God that he is working in those people's lives. And I'm going to, to leave the results up to him. But I am going to do everything that I can to show them Christ, to live my life in such a way that they would say, that's what I want. So my challenge for us today is to think about that person or those people that you've been praying for. You know who they are. Let's have a renewed motivation to continue praying for them, to continue lifting them up, and to continue asking God to draw them to him, to open their eyes, to remove the blinders, and to soften their hearts that they would become followers of Jesus Christ. That's our challenge. Let's not back down. Let's take up that challenge. Will you pray with me? Father, we come to you right now. And uh, because of what Jesus said, the truth of what he said, we, we uh, boldly uh, take up that challenge. And we pray right now, Father, for those in our lives who either do not know you, need to be closer to you, or, or just simply struggling in their faith. We pray that you will use us today in their lives or that you will use somebody, some situation, some uh, event that would draw them to you. We know that nothing brings you more glory than when someone comes to you. And, and Father, help us to not grow weary. Help us to continue marching on and taking up the challenge that's been placed before us. We thank you, Father, for the opportunities you give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll go out there and make it a super Saturday. Um, I want to invite you to join us tomorrow at West Shore if you don't have a home church um, at 11 o'clock. We'll be wrapping up our series, Reverse the Curse, and we'll be talking about how in the midst of this curse that we live under called sin, God is still working, and how we can see the evidence of him working, and what exactly does all that mean? So um, we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Um, of course, we'll see you tomorrow morning, Lord willing, at 7 a.m. for our, our morning prayer time. Until then, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care.